Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant show of international solidarity, a Czech-led initiative has successfully raised over 1.6 billion euros to procure artillery ammunition for Ukraine. This substantial financial support, announced by Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal on May 28, 2024, aims to deliver nearly a million artillery shells from non-EU countries to bolster Ukraine's defense against ongoing Russian aggression. During an official visit to Prague, Prime Minister Shmihal engaged in pivotal discussions with European leaders, including Polish President Andrzej Duda and Czech Prime Minister Petr Fiala. The talks focused on the logistics and implementation of the artillery initiative, with Shmihal stressing the need for timely and systematic deliveries starting in June. The initiative, which has garnered support from a coalition of 20 countries, exemplifies a significant international effort to support Ukraine in its hour of need. Czech Prime Minister Petr Fiala confirmed that the first shipments of 155mm caliber ammunition, amounting to tens of thousands of rounds, are scheduled to arrive in Ukraine by June. The coalition aims to deliver half a million artillery shells by the end of the year. The funding for this initiative has primarily come from 15 EU and NATO members, including the Netherlands, France, and Germany. This initiative is crucial as Ukraine faces a severe shortage of munitions amid relentless Russian offensives, particularly in the eastern regions. President Duda underscored the strategic importance of artillery in Ukraine's defense, warning of a potential major Russian offensive. Meanwhile, Hungary's pro-Russian government continues to block EU attempts to send additional military aid to Ukraine, causing frustration among other EU leaders. Hungary's veto on EU military assistance has now reached approximately 6.5 billion euros. The initiative underscores the collaborative efforts of European nations to support Ukraine, despite internal EU challenges. The Czech Republic's role as a mediator in this initiative highlights the importance of international cooperation in addressing Ukraine's urgent defense needs. Since the Russian invasion began, Ukraine has received significant deliveries of 155mm artillery shells from Western allies to sustain its defense efforts. This ammunition has been critical in countering Russian advances, but the high rate of usage has outpaced production. Despite efforts by countries like the United States and France to increase production, meeting the demand remains challenging. For instance, the US has awarded contracts worth $522 million to boost artillery shell production, and France has committed to tripling its production to support Ukraine. One major difficulty in producing sufficient 155mm shells is the complex manufacturing process, which requires specialized facilities and materials. The scale of demand due to intense conflict has exacerbated supply chain issues, leading to shortages. Western countries are also cautious about depleting their own stocks to avoid compromising their military readiness. Unlike Russia, which has streamlined production processes and often prioritizes quantity over precision, NATO countries maintain rigorous quality standards, which slows down the rate of production. Moreover, while Russia continues to produce and deploy a large volume of ammunition, Western countries must balance supporting Ukraine with maintaining their own defense capabilities. This delicate balance has led to strategic decisions about what can be supplied without significantly impacting their own operational readiness, illustrating the complexities and challenges in sustaining long-term military support in a high-intensity conflict. The Czech-led initiative represents a pivotal effort to address these challenges by pooling resources and fostering international cooperation. By ensuring a steady supply of artillery ammunition, this initiative not only strengthens Ukraine's defensive capabilities but also demonstrates a unified response to Russian aggression, reinforcing the principles of international solidarity and support for sovereign nations under threat. That's all for now, see you later.